All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 17. All right. So now we're going to create another button element with the class playlist song delete and the aria label attribute set to delete interpolated with song.title. So, pardon me. So for the content of the delete icon, we're going to paste in the following SVG. So this stuff right here. All right. So we got a few things that we uh, need to talk about on this one. So first things first, there's this aria label thing. So let's come over here to the aria label uh, MDM. And the aria label attribute defines a string value that labels an interactive element, right? So sometimes the default accessible name of an element is missing or does not accurately describe its contents. And there's no content visible in the DOM that can be associated with the object to give it meaning. A common example is a button containing an SVG like we're going to do and an icon font, which we shouldn't be using for accessibility issues. If you click this, it'll talk about why people with dyslexia uh, can't read this for some reason uh, without any text, right? Uh, and in cases where an interactive element has no accessible name or an accessible name that isn't accurate, uh, and there is no con content visible in the DOM that can be referenced via the aria labeled by attribute, the aria label attribute can be used to define a string that labels the interactive element on which it is set. This provides the element with its accessible name. So that's just why we're doing this because we're having it uh, delete with a, uh, we're gonna have it set to delete with an embedded expression like these, all right? And then also SVG, let's talk about that for a second. And it just means scalable vector graphics. So basically, I mean, we could go through all this, but basically it's just saying stuff like this, little tiny buttons that uh, if we blew them up, they'd pretty much look the same as they do when they're small, all right? So let's uh, come back over here and we're going to create another button element. So we'll do button, whoops, 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 button like this, between, button like that. And then we'll say close button. And then inside of the button attribute, pardon me, inside of the uh, opening button tag, we're gonna say uh, class playlist song delete. So we'll just take this class up here, copy that, drop it off right here, change title to delete. All right. And then we're going to call the aria label, aria hyphen label. We'll call it uh, delete, capital delete space. And then we'll do an embedded expression. And inside of here, we're going to say song dot title. All right. Pardon me. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Song dot title. All right, so inside of here is where we're gonna put this SVG. So we'll just grab this thing right here, this, this whole thing, copy it, and drop it off right here, right? So basically what this is gonna do, like I said, it's just making uh, these right here. All right, so let's check the code. Looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 18, and we'll see you next time.